everything has to go right. One of the things a few people have mentioned is about the fact is I never seem that bothered about things when they go wrong. Of course it bothers me, but I recognise it's part of life. The issue is relating to the car. I've got the car back today and I'd be shocked if it was running 100%. I have no faith in the Spanish mechanics whatsoever. Um, but ultimately, am I annoyed, frustrated? It's running, the engine sounds all quieter now. I'll wait until it goes to the UK and I will get it fully serviced and overhauled in the UK at my expense. There is no point them wasting more of my time in Spain with the warranty uh, where they try and penny pinch for repairs. They took it to Vox or Vox or wanted an expensive uh, part replaced. Instead, they went somewhere else um, and spent a small amount patching it up. I'll take it to the UK and I don't mind spending some money on it. Even if I set up a small company in the UK, tie the car to it and I'll write it all off as expenses on the business. At the end of the day, we learn from experience. Don't be afraid of failing. Don't be afraid of things going wrong. What's the worst that could happen? For me, the engine blowing up and killing me. That would be, that would be the worst thing. <laughs> the engine blowing up would leave me at the side of the road. But the odds of that happening are so slim, it's almost non-existent. But ultimately, that's what you've got to look at. The chances of happening are very slim. So don't worry about it. If something goes wrong, it goes wrong, and you just deal with it. It's all about consequence. It's all about getting through things, it's planning ahead and everything else, adjusting things for these little little things that get thrown in the uh, spanners, spanners, spanner works of life, and you work around it. So if you want to start a business and it fails in six months, so what? You know what you did that a lot of people haven't done? You tried. Do you know what else you got? You got experience, you got knowledge, you've seen where you went wrong. You recognize what you would do differently if you did it again. You understand many things that you didn't when you first started your first business. Most of the people I know that have been successful in business weren't successful at business one. Some of them it took over a hundred companies before they actually hit something that worked because they, they tried it, didn't work, good idea, maybe wrong timing. I remember um, Wimpy Restaurants, when they, because Wimpy Restaurants, um, they were, used to be quite big in the 80s, they were bought out by Burger King. Burger King um, bought their chain, and part of that was the directors could maintain the ownership of the name of Wimpy, um, but I think it was a five or a ten year um, block on them forming another burger restaurant. So they took all their money and basically sat, sat up for a bit and then they did a relaunch. They relaunched at the same time as the mad cow disease in the UK. There's a prime example of a very successful business previously getting hit with something they had no control over. Did they fail the business because they didn't know what they're doing? The answer is no, because they'd already sold all their restaurants previously to Burger King. Um, were they a failure because of mad cow's disease? The answer is no. The reality is, you will get things that you can't control. It's how you deal with them that's important. In the same way, learn that you're gaining experience the whole time. So even when things are going wrong, it's not the end of the world. It's the beginning of tomorrow. You're starting again and again and again. Eventually something will drop into place. Life is not always going to be easy. In the same way, it's not always going to be hard. Some days something drops into your lap and you're just like, wow, can't believe that. That's how it goes. But you've got to understand there is nothing wrong with being wrong. There's no, no problem with failing at some things because that's life. Thanks for watching.